sir. We have uh, Adam Soot in sight. Guys, 904 Fox Trap, enter left base for Noy 18, contact the tower 118.7. G'day. Uh, one nine or four box out at a fair runway one eight third lane. Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video here on Green Brothers Flying. Before we get into today's video, let's give out some social media shoutouts. You can find Green Brothers Flying on Discord, on Instagram at Green Brothers Flying, on Facebook at Green Brothers Flying, and on Twitter at Flank underscore Green. Also, Green Brothers Flying is selling t-shirts. They are $20. Check out our social medias for more details. In episode of 4 Flight Tutorials, let's talk about how I brief a standard instrument approach chart. We will begin with the ILS Runway 1 into Cersei and then switch over to the RNAV Runway 19 into Cersei from the Waypoint Lion. Let's get started. So YouTube, the first chart we're going to go over is the ILS Localizer Runway 1, Cersei Municipal Airport SRC. So the very first thing I do is go up here in the top left where my cursor is. Cersei, Arkansas, Localizer India Delta Sierra Yankee 110.1, Channel 38, Approach Course. 011 runway length 6008 touchdown zone elevation 253 feet airport elevation 264 feet alternate minimums not applicable and takeoff minimums not applicable this text right here just says you can't circle forecast C west of runway 119 which is over here due to terrain if the uh, local altimeter setting not received use the letter rock national airport Adams Field timber setting and increase all DAs MDAs 100 feet and then ADF required. Next, you have Malzar lighting, and then the mist approach. Climb to 800, then climbing right turn to 2300, direct to Cersei outer marker and hold, which is depicted on here. Five, one minute outbound, then make a left turn, go back inbound, and then you hold right hand turn, standard pattern. Identified uh, da, dot, 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 and the uh, 6.1 nautical miles. So, also, on this side, make sure that your charts current May 21st, 2020 to June 18th of 2020. So this chart's a little bit outdated while we're doing this. Down here is the graphical depiction of it. 2300. At the outer marker, come inbound. The outer marker is the final approach fix depicted by that X. Intercepted 1877. They'll probably inter make you intercept it at or above 1900. That's why the line is below the 1900 same thing with here the line is below the 2300 so intercept it at or above follow the glide, put, glide path down and here is also the missed approach straight ahead to 800 climbing right hand turn 2300 direct the outer marker and hold down here you have the visual glide slope indicators and the ILS glide path are not coefficient so your localizer and your glide slope won't show what it's showing on the peppies. So here are the minimums on the ILS. Category A, B, C aircraft, 453 feet MSL, one half mile visibility or 200 feet AGL, and one half mile visibility. On the localizer approach, if you're doing this localizer, it's 600 feet MSL, one half mile visibility, 347 feet AGL or 400 feet AGL and one half mile visibility. Circling approach is 760 feet MSL, one mile visibility, which is 496 feet AGL or 500 feet AGL and one mile. That's for A and B category C aircraft, 760 feet MSL is a min one and one and one half mile vis, and it's also 500 feet AGL and one and one half mile vis. As you can see, this approach does not is not applicable for category D aircraft. Over here, you see the airport chart. Elevation 264, touchdown zone is 253. You have reels on runway 1 and 19 with a Pappy on the left hand side, Pappy on the left 
left hand side on runway one and then runway on runway one we have medium intensity runway lighting and also it's pilot controlled with the L right there down here it's the final approach fix to the missed point missed approach point at 4.9 nautical miles if you're doing the localizer so if you're going 60 knots 4 minutes and 54 seconds 90 knots 3 minutes and 16 seconds 120 knots 2 minutes and 27 seconds 150 knots 100 1 minute and 58 seconds if you're going 180 knots 1 minute and 38 seconds also the MSA which is the minimum safe altitude which is 25 nautical miles on all sides of this point is 2300 um, going back up here you have your frequencies so your AWOS 3 point which is automated weather 128.325 flutter rock approach control 119.75 usually they'll just keep you on 119.5 also 291.775 Again, clearance delivery, 119.75. It's an uncontrolled airport, so you call it a rock approach on that frequency, or you can use 119.5. And then, obviously, CTAF, Unicom, 122.7, with, again, pilot-controlled lighting. So that's an ILS approach briefed. Now let's go over to the RNAV. So here's the RNAV uh, approach, runway 19 into Cersei. First things first, make sure your chart's valid. 21st of May 2020 to June 18th of 2020, obviously, this chart's a couple days out of date, which, for this purpose, is fine. So, very first thing you want to do, besides um, make sure your chart's valid, identify RNAV GPS runway 19 approach, and this Cersei Municipal Airport, SRC. Go over here, the WASH channel, 86224, or that's the channel, and then the WASH channel is 19A. Approach course is 191, that makes sense, because the ILS is 011. Runway length 6008, touchdown zone elevations 264, airport elevation is 264. And then down here, pretty much the same thing as on the ILS. Missed approach, climb 2300, climb to 2300, direct hoga and hold. Down here, you have your frequencies again, as explained in the ILS. AWAS 128.325, Lurak approach control 119.75, you'd probably be talking on 119.529. 1.775 then clearance delivery uncontrolled airport 119.75 usually 119.5 and then you have your CTAF Unicom 122.7 with pilot control lighting so down here you have your initial approach to Lion then you have your 5 nautical mile leg to Baloo which is an initial fix or initial approach fix then you make that left hand turn coming in toward Dinge which is 6 nautical mile leg from Baloo to Dinge and then your Carrot Carp and that's two and a half nautical miles from runway one nine. Now coming in from Lion, uh, the MSA within thirty nautical miles of Lion is twenty nine hundred. They'll usually keep you at three thousand if you're coming in from the west, or if you're coming in from the east going west. Clear direct Lion, and then you fly the approach in. So Lion at three thousand, Baloo at three thousand, Dinge over the final approach fix, Carib, and down. Pretty much it's 3,000 from any point from Vittles, Baloo, or Lion. Come down on the approach. Here's the missed approach point. Here's this, or the missed, this is the missed approach procedure. Missed approach, another missed, missed approach procedure. Straight ahead, 2300 direct Haga. Again, VG, uh, the visual glide path indicator and the RNAV glide path not co coefficient, co cosinant. Come down here. Again, 3,000 from wherever you're taking it. Cross blue, then dinge, glide slope, intercept. If you have LPV at 2,000, carp at 1,100 or above, then you just file it, follow it down. LPV, decision altitude 514 and 1. 514 feet MSL, 1 mile viz, or that's 250 feet AGL, or 300 feet AGL, and 1 mile viz for A, B, and C. LNAV and VNAV decision altitude not applicable on this approach. LNAV MDA 680 feet MSL 1 mile visibility 416 AGL or 500 AGL in 1 mile. That's for A and B category aircraft. Category C aircraft 680 feet MSL 1 and 1 quarter mile visibility which is 416 feet AGL or 500 feet AGL and 1 and 1 quarter mile vis. Category D aircraft did not applicable. Now circling approach 760 feet MSL 1 mile viz which is 500 feet AGL and 1 mile that's for A and B 
B category aircraft, category C aircraft, 760 feet MSL, one and one half mile viz, which is 500 feet AGL and one and one half mile viz, and category D aircraft is not applicable. It's 21 hours. As you can see on this side, elevation 264, touchdown zone 264, just showing 191 to runway 19. Pappy's on the left hand side. You have lighting on runway 1 as we talked about in the ILS. And you also have Pappy's on the left hand side. You have runway and identifier lights, which is what real stands for on runway 19, and it's pilot controlled. And you have medium intensity runway lighting on runway 1, which is also pilot controlled lighting. So that's how you brief an instrument approach chart. To airports, obviously, I do it step by step, and I was just giving you a rundown. And yes, this is not four flight; these are sky vectors. I couldn't figure out how to link my four flight on my iPad to my MacBook right now, so when I can get that figured out, we'll go back to four flight. But for now, we're going to use sky vector because sky vector charts and four flight charts are exactly the same, do exactly the same purposes. So until the next one, hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have any other things you want to see in this series, let me down in the comments below. Until the next one, a blue skies in tailwind.